How you doing, fam? Bam. This is Chris Mizo here. You might be in the market for the brand new Intel 14th generation, which is the Raptor Lake Refresh. Now, I know there is a lot of confusion between motherboards, processors, but here today we will talk about the Z790, especially the brand new ones. I'm talking about the Z790 Max, the Z790 Wi-Fi 7, the Z790 Encore, they gave it so many different names, it's very easy to be mixed up in the confusion between the specifications between the Z790 and the original Z790 that was originally released. If you're interested in any of these motherboards at all, make sure you check down in the description box down below as I have it right there. Same as the Intel 14th generation processors and it will lead you directly to where you can purchase them. Now, what are the similarities between the two? They are both Intel LGA 1700, so they can take the 12th generation all the way up to the 14th generation. They also had compatibility with DDR5, and there is compatibility with PCI Express 5.0. They do have a motherboards out there where they are compatible, with NVMe PCI Express 5.0. If you know the chipset diagram or if you don't, usually what happens if you use something like an X16 PCI Express 5 card, which doesn't really exist right now currently, but if you did, it will split down the lanes down to X8 on your PCI Express 5.0. Those are mostly the similarities between them, but what are the differences between the Z790 Max versus the original Z790. Well, I'm going to go through a few different motherboards here so you get an idea before you decide to make a purchase. Uh, the first thing I will tell you is there's not going to be a large amount of changes, especially coming from the Z790 to say a Z790 Max. It might not really be worth the upgrade to you unless you're looking for very specific features and you want to take advantage of features such as Wi Fi 7 built into a motherboard. But let me tell you right now, if you do have a Z790, you may just be better off just getting a Wi-Fi 7 expansion card to put inside your motherboard instead of just buying a brand new motherboard and going through the trouble of installing it. First motherboard that I wanna to talk to you guys about is the MSI Edge Z790 versus the Z790 Max Ti that has been released. Now the main difference between the two is that they both have different types of Wi-Fi. One is Wi-Fi 6E compared to the Wi-Fi 7, which is a brand new technology that has been re recently released this year. And there has been routers that have Wi-Fi 7 that have also been released this year. Now, you may not be interested in getting a motherboard that has it if you feel like you are not gonna utilize it or you don't plan to get a Wi-Fi 7 router anytime soon especially if you game on an ethernet wire. The memory support is also different. The Z790 has a overclock up to 70 hundred megahertz plus. Now, if you're looking into the Z790 Max Ti, it has a overclock of 70 800 megahertz plus. So if you're looking for more capability of overclocking, that is it. And that's also probably the ones you've seen in pictures before where you can really push that processor above 115 degrees Celsius to really push them overclocking temperatures. In fact, the new record has been released for the Intel 14 generation where they pushed up to nine gigahertz, which is incredible. Now it does also feature Bluetooth version 5.4 versus 5.3. It's not gonna be a huge generational gap there. This is more of a similarity between the two boards is that they both have TPM headers. MSI Z790 Ti Max also features a expansion card where it comes with USB with 100 watts of power delivery. So it features up to USB 4.1 so you can take advantage of not only the power delivery but those amazing speeds that it will also feature. With MSI's Edge Z790 Max Ti, it also features a 1X PCI Express 5.0 NVMe slot where you can actually install a PCI Express 5.0 SSD if you really wanted to. Now, the price difference isn't really that much different. It's $339.99 USD for the regular Z790. So if you're looking to save a little bit, 
you might want to go that route but if you want to spend the extra 50 dollars you for 389 at 99 usd you can go ahead and purchase the msi z790 edge max ti another variation that we'll mention is gigabyte z790 which is the Oris ax which is a wildly popular motherboard not only is it a great motherboard but it's at a great price as well now the differences between the two are going to be the memory speeds one can easily go to 7800 megahertz for overclock via 96 gigabytes with the new memory modules or a x wi-fi 7 if you do go for that motherboard it can go over 8266 megahertz and overclock another large difference between the two which will bring up the production cost is that one is six layers of pcb the other is eight layers of pcb one has two extra layers on there which helps the durability the x z790 wi-fi 7 also does feature revamped uefi bios you know how annoying the gigabyte bios is and how everybody dreads the rgbs to deal with on a gigabyte bios apparently gigabyte has improved it so much to the point when it comes to their new bios that it doesn't really become a headache anymore when it comes to overclocking or rgbs or anything of that nature so hopefully gigabyte will is flash that version of bios to the regular z790 which is definitely possible but as of now they do have it on the z790 wi-fi 7. as the name says it is wi-fi 7 it is a large leap from 6e to wi-fi 7. now the price difference is very similar as it is a 50 dollars difference for the regular z790 or its ax it is 249.99 usd and if you want the ax wi-fi 7 it's 299 usd but new egg is doing a great deal where you get a 20 dollars rebate card back so technically it's only 30 dollars more if you go for the wi-fi 7 motherboard now for the asus z790 apex motherboard which either has really sold out which i haven't seen quite available just yet has also some slight variations and some differences between their motherboards now the power stage is very similar it is a 2402 power stage now the asus rog z790 apex encore which does have the 6e and wi-fi 7 difference in there same thing with the bluetooth version 5.3 to 5.4 also a large difference in the z790 encore board it features up to 8400 megahertz of overclock speed and up to 96 gigabytes now the m2 one slot is pci express 5.0 and the m2 two slot is also pci express 5.0 now the chipset diagram is similar if you do use up both of those chipsets that do expect the pci express 5.0 x16 to be split to x8 another big difference between the version that they had the z790 last year compared to the z790 encore the memory fan cooling card that it comes with actually is a lot more improved it has a better bracket and it's better built compared to the one that originally came with the z790 but this time asus does not provide the pci express 5.0 expansion slot for your mvme cards because the motherboard does provide enough pci express 5.0 storage another motherboard i would like to talk to you about is the ace rock riptide at z790 versus the z790 wi-fi 7. a big difference between the two they did improve the vrm design by 16 plus 1 plus 1 compared to the 14 plus 1 plus 1 as one m2 gen 5 slot compared to not having any from the z790 it also has up to a 8000 megahertz overclock compared to the 7200 megahertz overclock it also has the wi-fi 7 module built into it it does have bluetooth version 5.3 now the only difference for this one is it does improve over the wi-fi 6e that the original z790 motherboard came with which is a large improvement over wi-fi 6e the audio codec has also improved vastly as it includes alc 1220 compared to alc 897 for the regular z790 it is 222.99 usd and for the new wi-fi 7 riptide it is 249.99 usd so fam guys if you're interested in any of these motherboards 
make sure you check down in the description box down below as I do have it listed. Now, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is into PC and tech, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if you're not part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And also, don't forget to follow my accent right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So, fan band guys, which motherboard are you planning to purchase, or are you just trying to hold on just a little bit longer? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo. Signing out.